everybody. Happy September. I'm back to share some brand new stories with you. And I've got Murphy sitting here on my lap and I've got Charlie sitting here on the floor. So, how was your summer? Did you have a really good summer? What did you do that was fun? Has anybody gone back, has anybody gone back to school yet? Well, today I have got Puppy Bus to share with you. This book is written by Drew Brockington and it's published by Abrams Kids. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So let's find out what this book is all about. And maybe if you go on a school bus, you can tell me what's a little bit different in this book. Let's get started. So on these end pages, do you see those? Do you see those? It's a whole bunch of dogs and they're playing. Puppy bus. And it looks like this little guy just moved to a new place. Do you see the moving truck? Do you see that? Have any of you had to change schools this year? Who's got two thumbs and is ready for the first day of school? Not me. The teachers will be different. I'll have to make all new friends. I won't even know where the bathroom is. This is the worst. Lick. Wait a minute. So, who's on the bus? What do you see on the bus? If you said dogs, you'd be correct. I'm on the wrong bus! <laughs> Uh-oh, what would you do if you got on a bus with all dogs? What is this place? Do I have to go to school here? Where? is everyone. I should find a grown up and tell them what's happened. Woof woof, bark bark. I'm a kid, I don't speak dog. What am I going to do now? Okay, okay, I'll go to class. So look at these pictures. The principal's a dog and apparently this other little pup thinks that he should be going to class. What would you do? Go to class? That'd be fun. Everything about this school is strange and different. Roll over. They're practicing their rolling. Woof plus woof equals woof woof. The subjects don't make sense. Lunch looks disgusting. And the bathroom is very confusing. But you're trying to feed him dog food. Hmm. Things are looking pretty glum. I miss my old school. I miss my friends. I want to go home. Have you ever felt like that? Hey, this is the puppy from the bus. Oh, hello. You sit next to me in math and you're so soft and fuzzy. Ring. Wait, this school has recess too? Awesome. Woof. There are balls to throw, grass for running and jumping, dirt for digging, and there's even a bathroom outside? I mean, do you get this dirty at school? I could get used to this. That looks pretty fun, doesn't it? I could get used to that. Maybe this school isn't so bad after all. They have story time, and look, they're all singing arroos. Arf, 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 arf. And do you see what this title of the school says? It says, Leroy's Puppy School. How was your first day? Great, I made new friends and learned to play fetch. 
fetch. Can I go back tomorrow? Of course you can. Yes, please. Who's got two paws and is excited for the second day of school? This kid. Uh-oh. Do you think he's on the right bus now? Do you think he got on the right bus? Uh-oh. I'm on the wrong bus. And do you see what it is? It's a bus full of cats. Stay tuned. The end. So, what did you think about this story? What do you think would be better? Going to school with kids, puppies, do dogs, kittens, cats? What, what do you think? And if you did start school, what is your favorite thing about school? I'd love for you to tell me. I will be back and I will be sharing another dog story with you. So, hang on, I'll be back soon. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the library, hopefully very soon. Bye for now.